Hi, welcome to this quick demo of Microsoft's Bing Chat, which is based on ChatGPT. Although it's a little bit of a different version of ChatGPT, then you will find it opening eyes ChatGPT. And also Microsoft's Bing Chat has some pretty cool, unique features. Um, first of all, you will notice you can actually change the conversation style. You can say, be more creative in your answers, be more balanced or be more precise, which is what we want for the question I'm going to ask here, which is, how much is the fuel cost for driving from Los Angeles to Phoenix with a Chevrolet Suburban V8? And it should optimize the refueling along the way, taking into account the current price differences in the different states for minimizing the cost. Right Now it comes up with the answer. First of all, it calculates the distance, which is 372 miles between LA and Phoenix. And then it tells us that um, the average fuel consumption in a city for Chevy uh, suburban is 15 miles per gallon. And it also says, assuming that you will driving on the highway, your fuel consumption might be a little bit lower. Uh, but anyhow, let's assume 15 miles per gallon. And then it tells us the current or average gas price in California of $4.75 and the average in Arizona is $3.55, more than a dollar difference, right? So that's quite a bit. Um, then it also gives us the disclaimer, hey, gas prices might vary, right? Uh, but then it goes like, based on this assumption, you would need approximately 24 eight-point gallons of gas for your trip. And if you refuel only in Arizona, which gas prices are lower, your fuel cost would be around $88. That's pretty awesome, because what did we see here? First of all, what we see, it's smart enough to figure out, okay, let's wait with the refueling until we're in Arizona where it's cheaper. But the most important part and the big difference here compared to OpenAI's ChatGPT is that first of all, it gives us here references. You see these little numbers and you go also find all sources at the bottom here where it pulled out all of this information. So this is, first of all, is amazing. So we get the sources, but even better is we get current data like the average gas prices, it pulls it that from a website, right? And so we cannot even use like OpenAI's ChatGPT, the old data, but we can also use current data, plus we get the resources. That's pretty awesome. Well, try it out and thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.